Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm so happy you're here with me today. I'm gonna play with structure gel. I've got a few videos that I've done, uh, used this stuff with. I'll link a couple of them in this video's description. Here, let's turn it right side up. I got it at Michael's. I think you can get it on Amazon. And there's other kinds of structured gels, mediums you can add to acrylic paint. Let me know what you like to use in the comments. I'm going to paint, I think I'm gonna paint kind of a, just a really light, light yellow white background just to have a little color. Um, I did a white one with a bicycle and a basket and some flowers. I'll link that one in this video's description. But here's my game plan. I just sketched out just kind of a rough idea of what I want to do. I'm going to paint on two 12 inch by 12 inch gallery wrap canvases from Creative Mark. They're an inch and a half thick. Oh, here. <laughs> get, the, get the name in there. I get them on Amazon. I think they come from Jerry's Artorama. Okay guys, I'm gonna get the background painted and I'll be back. Okay, let's chat about what's going on here. So I mixed a huge pile of mostly titanium white and a little bit of yellow oxide. The tit oh, can you see that you get glare? The titanium white is Liquitex and the yellow oxide is, is Liquitex. Uh, both are basics. I used a two inch flat brush from Blick Art Materials. Really loaded it up with paint. Um, and now, then I um, decided as I was painting it, well at first I was just going to kind of have some whites and some light yellows going just horizontally and vertically and then I thought, you know, it might just be easier to anchor, sorry guys, my throat's dry, to anchor my painting with a little bit darker color at the bottom and it also, it suggests the motion I'm going to have for the flowers. You know the flowers aren't exactly where I have them here. I'm already mimicking the motion of where the flowers are going to go. I'm keeping you in the painting a little bit by framing it. And then I have the weight at the bottom, which, you know, you don't have to do that, but sometimes it's kind of nice. Kind of anchors it, makes it a little more stable. I think that's about it. I've dried it with a hair dryer. It really needs to dry. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let's check. Here, this corner might be a little better. You don't have to fill in the folded corners with paint, but I had so much paint on my brush that I did. And then I just take my finger and where I've got like a ridge of paint and I wipe it, which is why my fingers have paint on. Just to kind of clean it up, thin it up. Okay guys, we're gonna let these dry and I'll be back in a bit. thought I'd pop in. I've made, so I'm using about half structure gel, half titanium white, mix it together. And this is my third or fourth big pile of this stuff. <laughs> so even though it's a simple painting, you're going to go through supplies because I'm putting it on really thick. And then I also thought that maybe I would do a couple flowers in real time in case this is your first time watching me. So I just scoop some up on the back and it might not be enough. And then I'll turn it because like I want to put a petal like here, pretty long one. And so sometimes it's easier to turn it and I should actually probably dry at least, this is uh, the next day. So I dried this with a hair dryer, and then I don't know if it's dry all the way through in there, but it's, I can push on it and nothing's happening. Push on it lightly. I should probably dry this one. So I just lay it on and see how far it goes. You can see how it goes quick. <laughs> we 
which is fun. It makes me laugh. Plus, I'm putting it on really thick. This is probably the thickest one I've done yet. But see, I also don't want to hit my... I like the center of my flower there. So go the other direction. And I'm going to see if I like... Looks like marshmallow. I think I like that. That's kind of... That's a little more than halfway. Maybe we'll make it... Oh, my uh, microphone cord just... I probably should leave it because it's a nice petal. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Oop, you can't see. Sorry, put it, put it in front of me. Put it in my lap. Yeah, see, I had a nicer petal before I messed with it. That happens. Well, maybe I can... So then I wipe off the bottom of my spoon sometimes so I don't have so much. And then just kind of push. Just like frosting. Oh, I like that. I think that's good. I just kind of wanted it to come definitely more than halfway. We're almost a third. Okay, guys, I'm going to work on this some more. Okay, let's chat for a second. The background is just straight up paint right out of the tube. It will hold. That's wet. <laughs> I, hair, I surfaced straight it with a hair dryer. But it will hold, you know, some texture, just not quite as much as with the structure gel. That's really, that's a couple days old. This is the, another day later again. I put. So I made it a little bit lighter and tried to put a little more texture on the background. That helps some. But I don't have a whole lot of value range between um, yellow oxide and white. It's not like between, say, black and white. But there, there's the lighter I made, but you really can't tell. And I put dots on the flowers thinking that would help. I, it does, but I'm still, I think I'm going to put like another layer of petals and depth on the flowers just because I'm not quite happy yet. When I look at my phone, I like it. Maybe I need to also step back. So the same value texture and flatter is kind of nice and then you have the thicker and white texture in contrast. So the white flowers were painted a couple days ago, I think. And then I, while I'm thinking of it, like I can, I might be able to poke in there and it's still wet in there. Um, I won't varnish this for like a week. Make sure it's really dry. Okay, I think that's about it. The out of the tube paint will hold some texture. The dots are helping, but I still think I want a little more on these flowers. And it needs time to dry. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey, friends, I'm calling it done. I like that I added inner petals on the flowers gives them a little more detail. I splattered it over on my art table because I didn't want to get splatter on my freshly painted walls. So um, you can see me do that in quite a few videos. You can use a toothbrush. 
you thin your paint out, you can just, you can use a long round brush. Actually, this brush would work. It's just a craft brush. And then you swirl it in the thinned out paint and, and you can tap it with your finger. You can tap it with another brush and splatter it. I think I really like it. It just needed a little more detail, a little more, I don't know, just playing with it. You can let me know what you think. Um, this stuff is really fun. If you use something else, let me know. It's Windsor and Newton Galleria Acrylic Medium Structure, Structure Gel. I use quite a bit. So while this is a simple painting, in my opinion, it takes a lot of product and a lot of time to wait for it to dry. So if you happen to do something like this and sell it, I, I would price it the same as your other art. It's totally up to you. Just something to think about. Oh, Freckles is on my lap and just sneezed. I don't know if you heard that. Thanks for hanging out with us. Fre Here, I'm gonna see if Freckles will. Oh no, she doesn't want me to pick her up. I was gonna put her on camera, but she's like, no, don't do that. Um, we super appreciate you hanging out with us. We really enjoy it. Um, I can't thank you enough for your support. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.